do a lot of different types of videos here on After Prison Show. I tell you a lot of different things about prison, what it's like, how to do certain things in there, and also stories. And a lot of times I paint those pictures in a pretty funny way. I do that so that I can entertain all of you out there. But the one thing that I do not ever want to be misconstrued for doing is trying to glamorize or glitify what prison really is. It's a fucked up, terrible place to be and you don't want to go there. The reason I'm mentioning this is because of what I'm going to talk about in this video today. What happens when you join a gang in prison? And with me telling you that, I also want to say this is not going to be a funny video. This is like me talking to all of the young people out there who like, love, follow, support, and are a part of this APS family slash army that we have here. I am so grateful for all of you giving me the opportunity to really have a voice on this platform. But with that, I feel like also comes great responsibility. There's a lot of you young people who watch these videos who laugh your ass off at them thinking this is the greatest shit in the world. But to be honest with you, it's not. Going to prison can absolutely change your life forever and in some cases you may never get another chance to have your life again. You could either die or end up spending the rest of your life in a hell on earth type of environment that prison really is. All of the places I've been incarcerated at are at the highest a level two. But when you get to anything beyond that a three, four, five, in some states even a six, to a super max, believe me, there ain't nothing to laugh about in a place like that. Rape, killings, stabbings, that shit happens on a daily basis in places like that. The reason I'm bringing any of this up in the first place is because I get so many messages from young people telling me how After Prison Show has changed their life or made them want to right the wrongs that they have done already in their lives. But I also get messages from young people who tell me their lives are still really messed up right now. And before I tell this story about what happens when you join a gang in prison, I'm going to read you a comment that I received a couple of days ago. Sadly enough, I get so many comments, I just saw this this morning and it really fucked me up. I received a message from this kid named L on Saturday. 14 years old and I want to read you exactly what he wrote to me. There were two messages all together. I'm going to read you both of them. The first one came on Saturday. Your How Prison Changed My Life video is honestly one of the most inspirational stories I've heard. I'm 14 years old selling dope and on probation. I've been in front of the judge so many times and she's given me so many chances to change my life for the better. On Wednesday I had to go to court in front of my probation officer and her supervisor. They told me if I get in trouble one more time, if I get caught with drugs or get in trouble any other way with the law, even at home, I'm going to get locked up until I'm 18. And if I do get placed and I still fuck up and go to jail when I'm 18, I could get even more time. I just can't seem to get it through my head that people are trying to help me and I'm just always fucking up shit. This honestly really inspired me to do right and better myself just like you did. Your videos are amazing, bro. Keep up the hard work. I received that message on Saturday, and then yesterday I received this message, and again, I didn't even see this until today. Man, I know this message ain't gonna mean shit, but cops are next door because I robbed this house. I'm gonna be in jail, but your videos are amazing, man. Keep up the grind. I'm gonna miss your videos so much. <clears throat> I tell myself I want After Prison Show to stand for something super positive and through some of the content that I create you may not see that but I always try to some kind of way get back to the original building point of what After Prison Show really is. You don't have to continue to fuck your life up. You do not have to go down the same road that I did where from the age of 18 till 33 years old I spent most of my life locked up and in prison. You don't have to do that. And to be honest with you, I'm grateful that that's all the time I had to spend in prison. Even though that was so many years, it could have been so much worse. And for some of you young people who watch these videos, it can really be that much worse. What happens when you join a gang in prison 
is a story I want to tell you about some young people that I saw at the last prison that I was at before I was released. I talked about this briefly in the video from yesterday where I talked about one type of prisoner that was housed at this prison as well were youth offenders. These are young kids who at 18 years old caught very bad charges. Whether they were malicious woundings, attempted murders, assault by mobs, gang charges. If you get a gang tag added to any charge that you're facing, you're looking at a lot of fucking time. But these young kids were given a chance. They were given a chance to complete a program where I was at called the Youth Offender Program. But instead of serving the 20 or 30 years that the judge may have originally sentenced them to, and in some cases even higher, you're talking 50, 80 years, but instead they're given an opportunity to complete a program. And this is a 24 month long program. Sounds pretty easy, right? You just got sentenced to 20, 30, 50, or even 80 years, but yet the judge has given you an opportunity to go complete a 24 month program, and then you're gonna have your life back again. Another chance for you to try to do right. But here's the crazy thing about it. See, a lot of these young kids, they didn't even care about the fact that they were given another chance. They didn't care about the fact that all they had to do was complete a 24 month program and they could have another chance to go do something more positive with their life instead of spending it completely fucked up, incarcerated, or even fucking ending up dead. So what happened is they would get to this prison and some of these kids were either gang members already or decided that it would be cool to join whatever gang their little fucking homeboys were in. So what would happen? They decide they want to join a gang. They'd get jumped in because in most gang scenarios, the only way that you can even get recruited is you have to be beat in by your friends. That sounds like a really good fucking idea. Let me let Steve-O here beat my fucking ass for 60 seconds, molly whopping the fuck out of me, and then fuck it. Because I'm a blood or a crip or an MS-13 or a dead man ink or, or whatever other fucking gang you want to join in prison is. But see, here's what happens with that. Now you're the lowest ranking member on this gang totem pole. So in order to gain rank, these higher ups, who really are nothing at all either, they're going to put you on dummy missions to make themselves look better so they can get rank off of your little fucking fail of a mission that they're going to put you on. And when I say a fail of a mission, they're going to tell you, hey, I need you to go over there to that dude right there who looks weak and I need you to go beat his ass and take all of his commissary, take everything he has. And because you think that's cool and you're not even worried about what the repercussions of that are, you go do that with two other motherfuckers who just joined the gang as well. So you go jump some guy, take all of his shit, and not two days later, you're fucking locked up in isolation because somebody told on you for doing this, whether it was the individual that you beat up or some other snitching motherfucker inside the pod. And now you're sitting in isolation facing these little prison charges. Assault by mob. It's just a prison charge. It doesn't mean anything. I'll serve some time in the hole. I may lose some good time, whatever. But see, because you're a youth offender, the tables are completely different. Because see, you only have one chance to get this right. You only have one chance. And if you fuck this up, they're going to send your ass right back in front of the judge. The same judge who may have sentenced you to 20 or 30 or 50 or even 80 years. And the judge may give you another chance. He may give you another chance. He'll be like, look, you're young. Get it through your fucking head. You're in prison. Stop fucking up. So these kids will come back from court and they'll do the same shit again. Oh, now we got to go fight another gang. We got to go fight these other low ranking gang members. So we're going to send our little newest recruits out there to go handle this for us. Just a little dummy mission. You guys go do that. So they go do that. They go beat the fuck out of these kids or they go get their asses kicked or however it works out. They could even get stabbed up and they get in trouble again because either the people they beat up told on them or somebody else told on them or they were caught on fucking camera, which is another way you will get caught in prison. Everything is fucking recorded and they end up in front of the judge again. You've already been given one chance to complete the program only 24 months. You've already been in front of the judge a second time since giving that one chance to complete the program and he gave you a yet another chance and yet here you are sitting in front of the judge again. But in this case, you're all out of strikes. They're fucking gone. And I've seen this happen probably at least five times where these young kids were given the opportunity to complete a youth offender program, a 24 month fucking program, fuck it all up while they're in prison because they decided to join a fucking gang and the judge 
gives them all of their time. I've seen a young kid go back to court for being part of a mob assault that beat up a guy who told on some gang members for tattooing and they beat the shit out of this guy. This guy stayed in the fucking medical infirmary for like months. And one of these kids went back in front of the judge and the judge gave him 50 years. 18 year old kid, 50 fucking years. You're no longer gonna be at this little sweet ass level two where shit's all good and all your homeboys are at. Now you're going up to a level three or a level four where rape happens, stabbings happen, and people really do get fucking killed at. I saw another situation where a young kid kept getting into these assault by mob type trouble situations. He joined a gang in prison and all this got him was sent back in front of the judge and the judge gave his ass 80 years. This kid is never coming home. 18 years old plus 80, you're looking at 98 years old. He is gonna die in fucking prison. And all he had to do was complete a 24 month program. But yet, because he wanted to be cool, he wanted to fit in, he wanted to do all the fucking dumb shit that all of his little buddies were doing, that shit just literally cost him his fucking life. He will now die in prison, probably getting raped, probably having to fend off rape, probably getting his ass kicked, stabbed up, or even worse, and if not, having to be on guard of that shit 24-7 for the rest of his life. And also, you don't even have to join a gang in prison. You could just be running with some other idiots who were doing other stupid shit and this could wind you up in the same type of a situation. I know that through After Prison Show, I will not reach every single kid out there who is dealing with trouble right now, who is in trouble right now. I know realistically that's not gonna happen. But if through a video like this, I can reach some of you, any of you who will listen to this, I feel like that's at least a step in the right direction. You don't have to do the dumb shit. That is not what's cool at all. Joining a gang, getting in trouble, bringing guns to school. I got, a, I got a letter that I just got yesterday from a kid who's 16 years old. He writes me and says, I was in jail myself for a little while after being caught with a 38 special on school property. What the hell were you doing with the gun at school anyways? You know what that's gonna end up getting you? You're gonna throw the rest of your fucking life away doing shit like that. That's not fucking cool at all. It doesn't matter why you even thought you had to bring that gun to school. The point of the matter is, Nothing should ever put you in a situation or make you feel like that is what you have to do. If you're having an issue with a kid or if you're having an issue with a bunch of kids, there are other ways to go about handling that. I wasted a lot of my life being locked up doing all the same stupid shit a lot of you out there are doing. Doing drugs, saying fuck school, saying fuck going to work, saying I'm going to commit crime whichever way I can, selling drugs, stealing shit whatever, in an effort to just live this fucking high, fast lane type of lifestyle. And you know all that ever ended me up with? Is being locked up. Thankfully. Thankfully that's all that ever ended me up with. Because I tell you, I can't tell you enough how many friends I know who are dead now because of that same exact lifestyle. I should do a video on all of my dead friends. Maybe that would open your eyes a little bit more too. I care about each and every one of you out there who take the time to watch these videos especially if you're dealing with troubles in your own life for whatever reason you may be dealing with those troubles. But you have to understand something. All of that trouble can go away. It doesn't have to be the way that you live your life moving forward and you can change it at any time. The point is you just have to say right now, I'm gonna change it. I don't wanna have to go through what Joe went through for seven years. I'm 34 years old now and look at my hair, the shit is gray. You see that gray hair? I'm old. I'm fucking old. My hair is the same color as this shirt right here. Probably part of the reason why I wore this shirt for this video. I lost a lot of my life and I want to prevent you from having to lose any of yours as well. You can get it right no matter what. You just have to say today is the day that I'm going to start making those changes to make that happen. I promise you one thing, life is much better when you are not getting in trouble. This isn't usually what I do here. I do usually make jokes tell funny stories, show more interesting, entertaining content. But the fact of the matter is, After Prison Show will stand for something positive. The shit that I've been through, it ain't cool, nor is it worth it. I consider all of you like family because this APS Army slash family is a bond that we have. This is my way to connect with all of you and to help you, at least try to help you, make the most that you can out of your lives. And that's why I say the same shit that I say at the end of every video. Because I hope that we'll eventually 
get through some of your troubled heads out there. I will leave it with that. Hey, look, I hope you don't hate me. And I hope you enjoyed this video. And if you did so, please leave a like and a comment and let me know exactly what you think. Until next time, enjoy life, the free world. Never take a moment for granted and make the most of every day. Peace!